Today in the kitchen, we are making our sourdough sandwich bread. This bread is light and fluffy and so easy to make. If we haven't met before, I am Deanne from Hummingbird Acres, and this is our place to share our homesteading adventures with you guys from scratch cooking, gardening, natural living, and just pure family fun. So let's jump in to how to make this absolutely delicious and easy sourdough sandwich bread. To your large bowl, you are going to add 650 grams of water. You wanna try and make sure the water is between 90 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit. This is just going to make sure that you're not going to kill the yeast in your sourdough starter. So if the water is too hot, you're gonna kill your yeast and it's not going to rise. So make sure it's between 90 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you have your water in, you are going to add 300 grams of your mature sourdough starter. You want your starter to be mature. Once you have that poured in, then go ahead and mix them together just to get the starter kind of to start dissolving and making it a little easier for you to knead your bread. Now you're going to add 50 grams of vegetable oil, 40 grams of sugar, or we like to use honey. And then you're gonna add 20 grams of kosher salt or fine sea salt. And the very last thing that I add is 1,000 grams of bread flour. I find that bread flour is the game changer for this recipe. I have done it with all-purpose flour, but I just don't get the same results. So I highly suggest using bread flour in this recipe. And that is a thousand grams of bread flour. And then take your bowl off your scale and gently start mixing everything together. You're gonna mix it together until it becomes like this shaggy, mess. You want to try and get as much of the flour wet as possible and just kind of get everything mixed together really well. This does take a couple of minutes to get it all together. Once you get it all mixed together, you're going to want to cover it with saran wrap or even a shower cap and let it rest for 30 minutes on your counter. After 30 minutes, you are going to stretch and fold the dough. So just pulling up on the dough and pushing it back into the middle. I do this a couple of times around the bowl. You're just kind of putting, mixing everything together. You are going to perform four rounds of stretching and folding every 30 minutes. So for about two hours, every 30 minutes, you wanna come and stretch and fold your dough. And as you can see in the video, the dough is really starting to come together. It's starting to, there's like no dough on the sides of the bowl and it's really starting to look like that nice soft dough that you want. So this is the last stretch and fold that I did for this loaf, these loaves of bread. And you can see it's nice and soft and it's really all come together. So after I after I did that last stretch and fold, I let it sit for three hours covered. Um, I did move it into our family room because our family room is warmer. I sprayed two loaf pans with some nonstick spray, and then I coated my countertop in some flour to make sure that the bread didn't stick to it. Then I dumped my dough out onto the counter and then using my bench knife, I cut it into two equal, and then working with one section at a time, I flattened it out, kind of like you would flatten out like a pizza dough. So I just kind of stretched it and flattened it out. I wanted a 
long rectangle. And then I took that long rectangle and after I added some more flour, I took that long rectangle and I folded in the sides to make a long triangle. And then starting at the smaller end, I rolled the dough on top of each other. And then pinched it, pinched the seam together just to make sure it all was gonna stay. I pinched the seams on the sides and then just kind of pulled it across the countertop just to make it form that nice loaf shape. And then once that was all, I felt like the loaf shape was good, I put it in my loaf pan and pushed it down so it was spread out a little bit. I do the same thing with this one, except for um, instead of folding the sides over to make a long triangle, I kind of just stretch it and push it out to be that long triangle. Um, it doesn't matter which way you do it, it both had the same result, but just how I felt like the dough, working with the dough, that way worked better for this piece. Did the same, started at the small end, rolled it on top of each other, and then pinched everything together and made sure that it was all formed into that nice log. And then I added it into the loaf pan, and then I took these back into our family room. I covered them again, and I let them sit for about two and a half hours or let them sit until they're about an inch to half an inch above the edge of the loaf pan. At that point, once they're um, above the edge of the loaf pan, I put them in a 400 degree oven for 30 minutes. So once they're an inch, inch and a half above the loaf pan, I put it in the oven for 30 minutes. And see, here's a nice time lapse for you of the bread cooking in the oven. As you can see, it does rise higher than the sides of the loaf pan while it's baking. Once the timer was up, I pulled them out. I let them sit in the loaf pans for about 15 minutes and then I put them on a cooling rack and let them cool completely. And then I stored them in uh, bread bags to use the next day for lunch. So there you have it. That is how we make our sourdough sandwich bread. If you liked this video and you like this recipe, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of our sourdough recipes, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks for visiting the farmhouse and we'll talk to you guys soon.